Today we are back on Fortune's Keep breaking down a high kill solos win and we're going to be discussing a crucial gameplay strategy that you at least need to be aware of on Fortune's Keep. It's something that is very different than Rebirth. Now like I said we're in solos. I just got caught a little bit out in the open over at Market and I ended up going down so I landed over back this way. Now when we talk about Rebirth and Fortune's Keep and we compare them right I always talk about the fact that Fortune's Keep has a lot of POIs. We've got Prison, we've got Headquarters, Control, Nova 6, Decon, Chem, Bio. We've got all all of these different areas and it's very rare for you to stay in one spot throughout an entire game but what we are going to see in this gameplay is I never leave winery and you have to be okay with that there are going to be games where you absolutely do not have to rotate out of a place part of this is going to be where you land do you land in one of the main POIs town keep or maybe winery and also circle pull I'm going to have circle pull over this way meaning I don't have to leave now understand that it also comes down to how many people are around you if there's nobody else around you you have to rotate out but know that if there are people around you if there are teams still around you you never have to leave this area by the way we've got daddy pop we're gonna go ahead and challenge around this way i feel really good with the mp40 mp40 i've said this in a few videos now is absolutely back it is a meta smg again we're gonna challenge around this way and we're just feeling good i this was my last game of the night and i knew i was feeling good right here i also had a little bit of a dono on the line on stream for this game so we got to go ahead and clutch up i think it was 20 dollars for a 20 kill win in solos so we're going to go ahead and absolutely clutch this up i think it's a 20 i don't know how many it is anyway what we're going to really pay attention to is how i'm just constantly acting on information around me of course executing in solos it's only one person but i'm going to be focusing on clean kills and really just fighting in winery and using key pieces of information to understand where to go next I don't have to worry about rotating over to market or town or keep or anything like that. I'm simply going to stay here. So we challenge around the corner based on audio. We're able to get that kill right there. Now, what's next, right? In this moment right here, I've got the car over to my right. I've got a bunch of people basically back behind me in the bottom right corner of the minimap. But I'm going to go ahead and get information here in a second. Okay, so now I've got people shooting straight ahead of me. Challenging, trying to see what I can find centering. So we're just going to go ahead and act on this guy over here. I'm trying to see what I can find. Playing a little bit patient. This is where we talk about patience on Fortune's Keep. You don't have to full send everything, play everything so on top of everybody. You can slow down, play a little bit of cover, figure out what you can find, and then go ahead and challenge from there. Now, we're on really good pace. We've got a we've got a 20 to 30 kill game start right here with six very early on in this first circle, but I'm not totally sure where anybody is, and now somebody gives away their location. I kind of really love when that happens because I'm going to simply reposition, anticipate, and then go ahead and reach out. Now, I got one above, so I know there's multiple people around here. And by the way, I'm not even thinking about rotating. I'm not thinking about rotating to, you know, keep or anything like that. I'm just focusing on what is going on in front of me, which I guess the only situation you may have this on Rebirth is like maybe everybody's just fighting in prison. But at some point, you're going to end up rotating out. It's simply because of the lack of POIs or the lack of like kind of minor POIs on Fortune's Keep. Everything is kind of the major POI. We end up challenging right there. We're able to get that kill. And when I say major POI, I mean like Town Keep and Winery are your three ma main ones. And then you got some smaller areas like Graveyard and those places. One flying in. Now this is going to be the one time that I actually rotate. And I'm going to rotate over to loadout here. And then based on the information that I have, which there's going to be a guy over this way. I'm going to see him right there. We're able to hit shots and get that kill. I'm going to go ahead and grab loadout. And then just like I said, because of the information, which is one flying over this way, I'm going to just rotate back up. And I end up rotating back over to winery. Now also look at circle pull right here. So I could end up pushing to market. I could push, you know, somewhere over towards this dot right here. But the information that I have is going to take me back over to my left trying to see what I can find there's one right there we're able to get that kill with the Cooper Carbine. Cooper Carbine feels pretty good on Fortune's Keep. I'm not going to say it feels as good as Rebirth, simply because of the range and the fact that you don't have a ton of bullets. Now watch this play right here. Catch this guy over here. Can't really shoot him through the bushes. We're just going to keep moving. We challenge around the corner. We're able to get the break, and as soon as we get that break, then we put the pressure on. We have the advantage. You know, I have 150 health advantage here. I just can't choke. I've just got to hit some shots. We take a little bit over a plate and a half of damage right there. We're able to get that kill. 10 kills. 23 people still alive. We're in a really good position. Now, I've got one flying in. I do have enough for UAV, so this is where we pay attention to that cash flow. We pop UAV and figure out, okay, who is around me? Where do I go next? Maybe at this point, now I do rotate out, but it's going to be based on the information that I get. I'm going to check. By the way, always check before you buy. You don't have to do that as much on Rebirth, but on this map, you definitely have to. 
pop UAV. Okay, I've got two people around me. So let's go ahead and figure it out. Now, right in this moment, I've got basically the one all the way to my left and the one in tower. But I also want you to notice this circle right here. I'm not going to go ahead and push across. I'm in a really good position to actually challenge these people based on positioning. Play a little bit slower. Play more strategic. Put myself in a good position with cover and play this range right here, which is a crucial component that you have to understand about fortune's keep we talk about positioning i've done a whole video on positioning and i've actually done a full video on pace of play as well so make sure you go check those out if you are interested in fortune's keep now right here notice the change last ping right there when you hear you know and it, that the uav is finishing make sure you check your mini map what do i notice the guy from tower actually dropped down he was waiting to respawn back in so now i'm going to go ahead and push over i have that information and now the chase is on i'm going to center around this corner i'm going to keep chasing and i try to get to him and we get smoked in the back now we've got to play a little bit smarter that guy still thinks i'm chasing him i'm gonna just gonna hop in here we're gonna quick plate we're gonna slow down for a second i wasn't anticipating getting shot in the back but that's where you always have to be aware of your cover you always have to be aware of your positioning because that can happen at any point in time from any direction so we're just gonna play a little bit of positioning here we're gonna kind of just see what i can find we're gonna wait for some people to rotate i know i have at least two teams or two people over this direction with me somewhere but i'm not totally sure where i thought i heard one down below i wasn't totally sure we're kind of peeking I'm waiting for people to rotate over. I know there's a bunch of people over that direction, so I'm kind of waiting for them. And keep in mind, could I rotate to keep? Uh, sure, I could go fight those teams. There's 54 seconds left in the circle closing. Why would I go put myself in that position? So we're just going to go ahead and play our positioning right here. We're going to play our position. Now, I notice that one is over this way, right? Notice the one down below me over right here. So we're going to go ahead and challenge. By the way, we're seven minutes in. I haven't told you if you are looking to get better at Fortune Keep or Rebirth, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I do videos every single day just trying to help people improve and get more kills. Now we catch this guy right here. We're able to execute there with the Cooper Carbine. And the Cooper Carbine at that range feels really good. So we get that kill. We're going to go ahead and play positioning once again we're able to challenge that guy we're able to get that kill and at this point there's only about 30 seconds left until the circle closes so now all of a sudden i am in a really good position to be able to pick up a bunch of free kills is this camping i uh, call it what you want it i mean on fortune's keep i think it's a little bit more about positioning as opposed to camping because the circles are so much different yeah this guy's back on his stuff again this guy's back on his stuff. One flying in above over to my right. And I'm able to tag that guy up a bunch. Now, could I push? Absolutely. But we're going to once again play positioning right here. Now, I noticed this guy over to my left. I noticed this guy over to my left right here in a second right there. So I go ahead. I push in. We're going to play our cover a little bit. And I'm just going to uh, try to see what I can hear, right? I'm going to basically play left and right, try to see what I can find, see if this guy challenges, then we center around the corner, and we re-engage. You know, the re-engage is crucial for you. Now, he knows where I am. Let's talk about this. As you become more of an advanced player, he knows where I am. I'm going to go ahead and challenge this anyway. I'm going to out-anticipate him and out-execute him. So we're just going to wait, unless it was that guy. I would have out-anticipated and out-executed if I had to. 14 kills. We still got 16 other people still alive here. Now, I don't quite have enough for a UAV. That's where my mind goes right here. Can I get a UAV up and take advantage of this fire sale? And when we talk about, like, positioning versus camping, like, understand that I'm still looking for kills. The, the game and the rotation kind of forced me to play at that pace. I wasn't going to go be over aggressive and push into a situation that wasn't advantageous for me. Now we get shots over this way. I immediately check minimap. I notice that there's two teams fighting or two people fighting back here. So we're going to go and act on that information. Notice once again, I have not left here except to go get my loadout. One down below this way. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up with the Cooper Carbine. We immediately focus on enemy number two, who's going to end up pushing around this way. And we're able to challenge right there and get that kill. There it is. And, and we're just still playing around this area. And as long as the information is there, you can keep playing there. It can be keep. It could be town. It could be grotto. Like, it doesn't matter where it is. If you keep getting information about where teams are, and that's kind of where Circle is pushing towards, do not feel like you have to rotate out. Just keep acting on the information that you have. Now, I saw one flying in over this way. Right on the mini map, you see him flying over. There he is flying that way. So we're going to go ahead and push over, try to see what we can find. I'm not totally sure exactly where he is. I'm just going to put myself close to the action. Notice we're constantly anticipating, trying to be ready. We grab the big game bounty. 
Door up top. We execute right there. Another one. I thought I heard another one. Right? I thought I heard that door. Wasn't sure if it was that guy or if it was another player. So we're just going to play this a little bit smart. We're going to clear these. Notice how we're clearing. We're playing unpredictable. Right? A lot of you would probably just bust into those buildings and then make it a 50-50. I'm going to try to out-anticipate him, essentially. I'm going to try to put myself in a position where he's, like, aiming at one door and then I circle around. I'm going to be unpredictable. So now we go in and challenge down below. We're able to get that kill right there. Easy down and thirst with basically a bunch of headshots. So now, what do we do? We pop UAV. We go act on the next piece of information that we have. I still do not have to leave winery. So we're going to go in and push over. I see this guy right this way. I'm not going to be able to get that kill just because of spawn protection. That's okay. So we're going to go in and start to push over. We got one backside. I probably wasted a little bit more time than I needed to here getting this kill. But I'm going to take the free kill. He's got to push right to me. There he is right there. Blixen is absolutely disgusting if you mix in a headshot. So now we start to rotate and pay attention to endgame. You know, respawns disabled. This is when we start to really focus on, okay, how do we clutch up this win right here? So I notice that one's above me. Now I hear him down below. And I'm just trying to play quick. I'm trying to gain back the advantage of understanding where he is. And we buy UAV. Cash flow. Get that UAV up. And this is where it takes... It's so quick to buy this UAV. And that's going to give me everything that I need. It gives me all of the information. What do you notice right here? Because what I notice, and I know where I rotate to, is the guy on my level over to the right. How many of you would notice that? Realistically, how many of you would notice that? Okay, there's a guy, and think about where this guy is, right? He either has to be in winery, or he has to be out in the open somewhere where there's limited cover. So I'm going to go ahead and take the free kill. Now, you have to anticipate. You have to execute on this. We're going to go ahead and challenge. I see him right there. I catch a quick glimpse. Sure enough, there he is out in the open. We're able to hit shots right there. We're able to execute. Now, I got people over to my left. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. I'm not going to be too over aggressive. This is where I say as soon as respawn disables, we start to focus on the win. We start to focus up until this point. It's kills, kills, kills because we get the respawn dynamic. At this point right here, now I want to clutch this game up and see if we can come out with the dub. And solo dubs are hard. They're very hard. But notice because I know where everybody is, and, and this is what I mean. Right here, is this, do I get one more ping on this UAV? Or is that it? Okay, that was it. Okay, let's go back. Right here. Five people still alive, right? I know where everybody is. There's three over straight in front of me. There's two guys over to my left. And you need to remember that information as you are clutching up this endgame. And I'm trying to still get kills here, but I'm just going to play this endgame positioning. Do I have the best position possible? Actually, yeah, I kind of do. I, I was a little bit nervous to say yes, but I, I have a lot of cover. I have a lot of angles where I can shoot people from. I don't think, like, I don't have an angle on the guys down below if they were to just kind of hug that that mountain, the side, the cliff right here. Or, and I don't really have a great angle on the ones to the left, but at the end of the day, I can wait another circle and then be able to execute based on that. So we haven't left winery except to get loadout right here. And, and yet I'm still dropping a high kill game. I think that's probably the biggest thing to understand is you can still drop a high kill game doing that. If, I, if you said, I, Joe, I won a game and I did not leave control, I'd be like, well, how many kills did you get? It couldn't have been that many because teams are constantly con being congested in that area. I want to know how this guy... Oh, he ended up pushing all the way around me. He ends up getting on the roof. So we're going to go in and pull out the pro play here. Go, don't be afraid to crouch walk or like to do this to ADS walk. Something that a lot of pro players do. And it's not often, but sometimes they do it because of this right here. If I'm running around, I'm giving away my location. Now it's a 1v1 situation. I get circle pull kind of over to my left. So I'm going to go in and once again play my cover right here. And look at this. This is just a, this is just a smart play right here. I'm going to play the truck. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Before anybody says that I have wall hacks or something, let's see how... I see this guy over to my right. You can't see him because of the camera. That's not... Oh, he's right there. Yes. Yes, you can. Okay, there you go. That's how I know he's over here. Relax with, like, the... the you saw him through the wall. He's literally right here. You can see him running over to the right behind the rock right here, at which point I can just hold him out of circle. We're in a good position to just kind of wait and see what he does. And he's got to push right to me. So, there he is. And uh, trigger discipline, right? I'm going to wait for him to push a little bit out in the open. I'm not going to wait for him to just peek it a little bit. I'm going to wait for him to have to push because he has no cover besides this. So, this is just an execution, right? He, there's nowhere he can go. So, there's a 22 kill win where I do not leave Winer the entire game. Start to think about that when you are playing. You don't have to leave. Just react based on the information that you have. As I always say, let's get better today and I will see you tomorrow.